Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us over the next two days as we eat and drink our way through Barcelona. We even visit La Sagrada Familia. Let's go. All right, so we just checked into our hotel. It took us almost 20 to 21 hours from when we left our house to get here. But no delays and our luggage made it with us. That's true, so <laughs> that's, that's a already start. a good start. <laughs> uh, so we are in Barcelona for a little under 48 hours this trip. Uh, we are gonna be boarding a cruise ship here on Monday, but until then we got lots to see and do. Tapas, wine, I bet there's some cervezas we can find. Yep, and there's a bit of history here too. And architecture, holy cow. I, I'm already like blown away and it's just by the taxi right here. I was shocked. Yes, so let's get started. Let's go. All right, so you are probably coming to Barcelona from the airport. Um, to get into the downtown Gothic area, it took us about 45 minutes via cab, which yeah. we actually set up through Get Your Guide. I think it was about $40, $40 US dollars. And it he met us, met us right there at the airport, mm -hmm. took us to the car. Um, now it is about 5 p.m., so we're probably just gonna do a few things. Um, most importantly, we're gonna head over to Las Ramblas, yeah. which is like the big street for pedestrians. Um, and try to see if we can find some places to eat and drink tonight. And then tomorrow we've got a couple of significant tickets that we will be taking you along with. That's right. All right, well we found our way to Placa Real and we could use a drink and a little bite before dinner. So we're gonna grab one of these, see if we can grab a table and just enjoy this area. It looks like they're gonna put on a concert even. All right, we are at a place called Ocaña. Uh, we went with some candied artichokes. Some, I don't know, it's like cauliflower it's and cauliflower. cheese. Yeah. Looks like there's some broccoli in there too. It's a seasonal special. Uh, we got some, what was it? Jamon and cheese croquette. Jamon and cheese croquette. You might as well see what it looks like though. All right, and they're testing out the speakers. All right, and we are starting off with a couple of cocktails. So I end up with a pina colada, and Rachel got a summer margarita with jalapeno in it, and mango and watermelon. All right, like one block over, and we made it to Las Ramblas. All right, so one, one thing that we have heard in everybody's video is watch out for pickpockets here. Yeah. So protect your stuff. She's got her purse across the body. My wallet's in my front pocket. Everything's zipped. There you go. Yep. So to get the true feel of La Rambla, we decided to walk down to the Southern Start, which is here at the Columbus Monument, which is way bigger than I expected it to be. All right, a little ways up, we ran into the La Bocaria, which it, I've heard about is supposed to be like a food market, right up our alley. All right, so you can only walk by so many of these meat stalls <laughs> before you get one. This one already had cones out. This was 650 euros and it looks great. You gonna try it? Uh-huh. That's good ham. Yeah. Nice. All right. Make it through this market without eating more stuff. So here's the burrata. It has tomatoes and a tomato foam. Tomato. I'm positive that's yeah. what that is. <laughs> and then we got a couple of sangria, and we do have some sardines over there on the grill. 
Alright, and here are our fresh sardines. Shoot them with lemon. It looks so good. Right off the charcoal grill. Yeah. If you have lemon, you're supposed to use it. Lemon, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm not really showing you our almost empty sangrias, but I want you to look at this. Oh, the so beef tartare in bone marrow that is right next to us. This place is awesome. All right, that place was great. It was good. If you come here, go to, straight to the back. Delicious. The tables are turning fast. Very good. It was delicious. dinner time at my way. All right, so Rachel ran up to the bathroom, but they did bring us a couple glasses of kava, which is sparkling wine made in this region. Um, we are gonna get a decent amount of food though, um, and very cool area. We could only go so long without having a beer, so there we go, San Miguel. All right, so the bathroom is upstairs, and I just had to show this off. Look at this room. This place is beautiful. We are starting off. Those ham croquettes were so good earlier, we had to do it again. And then garlic prawns, because the shrimp is the way to go here, it sounds like. I am not a charcuterie board kind of guy, but... He is not. <laughs> no, I am not. But I know that this is definitely one of the things you're supposed to get here, some Iberico ham. Look at this meat. Is that, what is that kind of cheese? Manchego, Manchego cheese. And then tomato bread. And this is the tomato bread that you're supposed to get. I hope that's like kind of a spicy salami. It, I hope it is too. Spicy salami would be awesome. This looks really good though. Very excited for this. Mussels, clams, shrimp. Oh, I think I see some octopus. Yeah, there's some calamari, calamari mussels, clam, shrimp. Shrimp. Um, and a big old prawn. Big old prawn. Yes. This, so this is, is supposed a, to be one person. Serving for one, yeah. yeah. Seafood paella. Um, to give you a size, there you go, there's Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. All right, good morning. Uh, we ended up crashing pretty quick and after. Hard. <laughs> yeah, quick and hard after uh, last night's dinner. Um, wanted to make sure we stay ahead of jet lag, but we did get a nice few hours of sleep. Dinner was very nice last night. I actually feel like everything we ate yesterday was really good. I agree. There was nothing I would say don't eat again. And no. I would go back to every place if we could find it again. <laughs> Absolutely. But we got more places to go to today. Yeah. Um, we are going to take you to what is supposed to be the spot you got to get to if you're in Barcelona. We have a tour. We're gonna bring you along for it. All right, so for breakfast, we ended up just stopping off at a coffee shop, which there's a ton of. I think it's called 365. 365. Um, mm -hmm. The pastry was good, but there's a bunch of other ones that we walked by. Um, You're not gonna go hungry. No, <laughs> and it's about a 45 minute walk to get to La Sagrada Familia, but we'll hopefully bring you along for some cool stuff along the way. Um, one thing about last night's dinner, we did notice that 9 p.m. is really when the restaurants started to pick up. Yeah. So it's a later dinner place uh, here in Barcelona. just coming around the street and found our first glimpses of the church. This place is massive. Wow. I can't wait. So we did do a tour. Um, you'll get to come along with that, I believe. It was $150 on Get Your Guide. All right, so we are at Marina and Mallorca, I believe is the intersection. 
You can see there's a lot of tour groups that meet up over here. We're gonna try to find ours. We're actually gonna get to hear them, so we look like tourists, and that's okay because we are. Yeah, <laughs> but this is how we're gonna get to hear all the history and not have constant screaming inside the church. <laughs> so, our tour guide is talking to us about um, the three facades that are gonna tell a story. This, this side is telling the story of the birth of Christ, the other side tells the story of the death of Christ, and there's going to be another side that is not completed yet um, that will talk about the light. This is the back side, and when we go up, it'll be up at that bridge. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, definitely recommend a tour. Uh, like I had said before, this was about $150 for the two of us. Yeah. It's an hour and a half. We are going to the top as well. Very excited for that. I'm very that. excited for that too. Um, but this place is unbelievable. You should definitely get inside. Outside is great. Inside is amazing. Amazing. It is amazing. And what I thought was really cool is the two different sides, east and west, are totally different. Yes. So you can see one side, but you really need to do the entire outside and the entire inside. It, it's just breathtaking. Definitely recommend it. All right, the good news is we get to take an elevator up, but we have to take stairs down. All right, so after you get on the elevator, there is five meters, I believe she said, or 15 meters worth of. Uh, stairs that you have to go up. It's really cool. It's very narrow. And then we made it to the bridge. So everything's very narrow. So very cool view of the city. Um, you can even see the cruise ships out at the beach, which at this moment, feel free to take an opportunity to hit that subscribe button because we are going on a cruise. We're going to end in Rome, but we're going to stop it in France. It's and Italy along the way. If you enjoy this video, we'll see you on some of the next videos. On the other side, you can see that they're still working, but the uh, center spire is gonna be so big. We get a close up of all the fruit that are at the top. So, 400 steps down we go. Oh, if you go out this window, perhaps you can kind of see some construction. Rachel not wants going to jump right out now. this window. Is no, that what you just said? No, I did not. But look, you can see the construction. Yeah. Going. So, there is uh, one side that is not done yet. Yeah. And they said it's because they basically still need to buy more land 
I think it's like it. those apartments because it's on the fruit side. Of yeah. So um, they talked about like initially their goal was to be done in 2026, but at this time, I think it's hard pressed to say it'd probably be more like 2030. Yeah, the Jesus Tower is supposed to be done in 2026 because it's the yeah. 100th anniversary of this. Yeah. yeah. So the the very top peace they're hoping by 2026. The most religious um, peace in the world. Oh, this is a cool view. On your way down, it's really cool to be able to look out the window because you can see glimpses of some of the statues along your way. So this is the side that they said that um, they still would like to do another facade, or at least the original plan is. But you can see that there's apartment buildings right over there and streets so they'd have to purchase it yeah it'll be interesting to see if they do end up being able to finish all right at the final two minutes it gets a little tighter and there was no interior <laughs> rail so hold on to the outside yikes All right, we are definitely hungry now. They're making paella on the corner here. We're gonna go find some tapas. All right, we are gonna check out Chill. All right, so uh, when they have a sign for Big Jug Sangria, you order a big jug of sangria. This one is with kava. Yes. We're more white wine drinkers than red wine, so that's our style. And then you add sparkling to it. Yes. <laughs> Nice, big old ice cubes in there. <laughs> one of my favorite drinks on the ships is always a sangria, so I'm excited for this one. All right, so I am committed to having ham croquettes everywhere. <laughs> Go ahead and pull that apart with me. Um, so if you don't know what that is, it's bechamel and Iberico ham. It's delicious. Yes, it's so good. And first time having potatoes bravas. You can see it's uh, fried potatoes and it's a good looking sauce, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Looks like a mayo based sauce. Yeah, it's like a spicy is mayo spicy? based sauce. I like it. And we got more coming. All right, so we ended up getting some of that tomato bread. Um, I didn't realize that this Spanish tortilla came with it. But that Spanish tortilla, we didn't really know what it was, but apparently it's like eggs and potato. It looks like a quiche. <laughs> And then we got some prawns with some olive oil and chili oil, I believe. Yeah, and now we know what the Spanish tortilla is yes. for ordering in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is going to be our full lunch right here. All right, so we decided to go see another work of Gaudi, and on our way there, we came across these empanadas. I think we should eat them. So as we work our way back to our hotel, this is another Antoni Gaudi building. I believe it's called Casa Mila. But those empanadas were delicious. We had four of them, two beers, two waters for under 20 euros. That's a great lunch right there for you. But there's a cool building. And it does look like people go inside of it because there's people up on top, but we're gonna head on to another. All right, just a couple blocks down, and we actually come across Casa, Casa Batlo, which is another Gaudi building. Tonight we're gonna go to a concert at Palau de la Musica Catalana. But we wanna see the building, um, yeah, before we get there, just in case it gets dark, because people will pay just to go to the building. But we're gonna see a concert. Very excited for it.
Rachel's favorite thing so far here in Barcelona is these little gentlemen who are pooping. Our one souvenir that we're getting is a pooper. to drink cappuccino in the afternoon in Europe, but we're American. That's what we do. And look at this, pumpkin and a black cat. Why aren't you supposed to drink cappuccino in the afternoon? I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you know the reason why, because <laughs> it's delicious. All right. So in the Gothic quarter, you got the uh, Cathedral de Barcelona. This is impressive. We are big walkers, so we prefer seeing the city walking, but you can see this is the metro. So you can take the subway to a whole bunch of different areas, but we like to get our steps in this way because we tend to overeat. So it makes us feel like we're not doing so bad. Plus we get to see the city. All right, so we are headed back to the hotel. We are here at Barcelona Hotel Colonial. It was $430 for two nights. Okay, yeah, I mean, no frills. It's got pretty much everything we want. It's in a good location. And that arch that Rachel just noticed is not part of our hotel. But I do think that we are that room up there. This is the coffee shop after the show. There is a restaurant on the second level, but we have other plans. All right, so the show was good. We did have to change because we were a little too formal. This area is not like- it Definitely was not. No, it's not a black tie area. <laughs> no. Uh, but it was fun. We're gonna grab some drinks and then dinner. All right, we turned down a random alley. We found a place called Craft. We love craft beer, so let's check them out. <laughs> All right, beers were good. And Rachel's nervous about going down random streets, but... At least it's well lit. Yeah. And, I mean, they were craft beers, but not local to Barcelona. That's true. And this is where our dinner is going to be, down this abandoned alleyway. Yeah, there's people inside. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, we are here at Arcano. You wouldn't know it from outside, but this place is packed and beautiful. Uh, 
All right, after that cava sangria earlier, we knew we had to start with some more, so another big jug of it. They are starting us off with some homemade focaccia with thyme and garlic butter. All right, we knew we were gonna get a croquette. We didn't know it was gonna be a black squid and cuttlefish one. Yeah. This looks interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you thought just the outside was black, look at the inside. And that's a black garlic aioli on top. This is your tuna tartare with plantain chips. And there's pistachios in there too. With pistachios, yeah, I can see them actually. Yeah. Grilled octopus, mashed potatoes. Potato foam. Pot Purple potato, potato foam. foam. Purple potato foam. Yo, that looks good. All right, we are bordering on one of our favorite meals outside of Las Vegas this year so far already. Agreed. This is a veal cheek ravioli with a black truffle sauce. All right, we are going all out. We got a rack of lamb here and some Iberian pork with smoked sweet potato. This is good. Yeah, this looks delicious. <laughs> as, our, <laughs> as our last dinner here in Barcelona, we had to go all out. So two desserts. This is a cheesecake in a cannoli with a bunch of berries. And over here, this is their signature dessert, it seems. Yes. So it's cannoli, or it's ricotta, ricotta on the outside, a cheese ice cream on the inside, cookie crumble, And then a cocoa-covered nut. Cocoa-covered nut. Oh my goodness. This place has been good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Final dinner here in Barcelona. Barcelona. We do have um, a couple meals we're gonna do tomorrow, but um, that was great. Great food, great service, great atmosphere. It was stand out. Yeah, check this place out, Arcano. Uh, <laughs> we'll try to leave a little link down below or something, but absolutely should do it. And it's in the middle of a deserted alley. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is our final half day here in Barcelona. We're yeah. gonna try to find some coffee, try to find some breakfast. We'll see if we can also find one more place to eat for lunch. Yes. There's a line at the spot we're trying to go into. All right, we are hoping for some churros dipped in chocolate. So this place is really kind of cool. It's got a nice low ceiling. It's an old school vibe. And five minutes after opening, it is completely packed. It's so cool. Yeah, I think we picked a good spot. Yeah. All right, here we go. We have not had churros yet. So churros with a chocolate dipping sauce. Let's go ahead and just see. Oh, yes. And it's that, all warm. Yep, that is hot. You can see it's steam. <laughs> Look at that steam. And then we had not actually read about this until now. Um, and, and some may. And some may. I think that sounds right. Yeah, and this is a cream one, uh, which looks like kind of like a donut with some. Uh, Almost like custard? A, yeah, it looks like a custard. And then with two cappuccinos. Good way to yes. start. Alright, so each order comes with four. They are warm. Yes, and that's what you're supposed to do with them. Oh, I'm so Here excited. We go. We've been looking for this for a couple of days now. Yeah. It's super good. Think of like um, the best hot chocolate, but it's a little thicker. Okay. And then it's crispy. Not super sweet for the churro. Is the chocolate super sweet? Not super sweet. No. Okay. Yum. All right, breakfast was 1280 euros, but we're on the search for more. When you're not sure what you want, you just go back to the market. We enjoyed it so much the first time.
if you are unsure what you want your final bites to be, this is definitely where you should go. Um, we are thinking we want to have some more ham. We want some empanadas. Uh, maybe paella. Yeah, we can find some, yes. Yeah, but we're going to start with some ham. All right, here's where we landed with our empanadas. We're going to get an onion and cheese one and a chicken curry and sweet potato. Check those out. Don't they look delicious? a short walk from our hotel is the beach now it is not the nicest right now it's probably about 70 degrees at most overcast and the seas look rough but you could walk to the beach We have really enjoyed the tapas, but uh, we came by these, this restaurant where they're making fresh dumplings. So we ended up with some duck, some shaolong bao, some pork, some prawns, and chicken curry. And chicken curry. Yeah, we're guessing on these ones, but they look great. And it's still right in the same area that we've been kind of wondering about it. All right, I do want to show off the bottom. You can see there's like a nice crispy, like where they're grilling it. But I like all of them. And they do have a soy sauce and some hot sauce, chili oil or chili sauce at least. a cool church and they said we can go up on the rooftop for a little bit more money so why not right our knees might be given out before long all right here is our first landing point it does look like we get to go a bit higher too because you can see the tower goes up there getting some cool views but we got more to go all right we made it to the rooftop. There you can see the roof. The spires. And Barcelona. Oh my. Yeah, what's really interesting to us is that La Sagrada Familia is like so big. Look at that thing. But unless you're in the vicinity, you really don't see it. So there is only one stairwell that's open. So we had to go by a couple people and one of you hugs the rock and the other one hugs the railing. Good luck with backpacks. All right. 
we are on our cruise ship. So real quick, if you are interested in seeing where we go on this cruise, we are headed to France and Italy and we're going to stop in or have a longer stay in Rome. Um, mm -hmm. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes, but we have some key takeaways for Barcelona. Yes, one. It's a walkable town. It's very walkable. Yeah, we, we end up using a taxi only to get to our cruise ship and get from the airport to our hotel. Yeah. Um, otherwise, there are metro stations all over the place, but we walked and it was a great way to see the city. I agree. And we never felt unsafe. It no. was. I mean, we heard rumors of pickpockers, but we never had concerns with that. But it was busy. And we never felt unsafe. Yeah, once. and if you mm -hmm. if you need like um, regular items like just toiletries, water, soda, whatever, um, there's tons of stores all throughout the city. You can find that like every block. Yeah, it was very handy that way. Yes. Um, number two, eat the local food. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The we tapas were great. great. Yeah. Now, now our final meal, we were we were a little top it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and had to have some Chinese dumplings because you know watching these old ladies making the dumplings, but. You should definitely try it. The croquetas. Yes. The jamón. Yes. Paella. Paella. And don't forget the cava. And the tomato bread. Oh yeah, tomato Lots bread. of good local mm -hmm. stuff. You should definitely try that. And the third thing. You have to visit La Sagrada Familia and yes. go inside. Spend the money go, to go inside. inside. It is. It's breathtaking. Yeah, from the outside, it's very cool. But there's a lot of scaffolding. There's a lot of work being done still. Yeah. You know, it's it's a active construction site. Yeah. So it's still being worked on, but on the inside, it is stunning. Stunning. I mean, it brought tears to my eyes. It is just amazing. And in general, the architecture here in Barcelona itself is amazing. Agreed. It, it's just worth wandering around the city to look at the buildings, look up and look at that stuff because there are intricacies on every building you pass by. It was so cool. Yes. And today we went to the top of another church near our hotel, which was amazing. Awesome. So it, it's well worth it. Yes. Hopefully this helped you. That's if you're it. enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. See ya.